What's going on you guys? This is MXKDI here. I have another Dell Optiplex 9010 mini tower and this video will be a disassembly teardown. I'll show you guys how to do that. So first off we're going to move the side cover panel here and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, what you guys need is a latex gloves and uh, you will need a flathead screwdriver a small one mini Phillips screwdriver and just a regular flathead screwdriver the mini for a small screwdriver we need that to remove the, the cable right here in the bottom for the front panel it's got a little clip on it you have to press on it with a small screwdriver to release the the wire show you guys how to do that later so what we're gonna do is start off from the front cover basil is the little clips right here so you should take your finger a little gently and take the, the press on the clips up like this gently with your finger and the front cover basil will come right out and this is for the Dell Optiplex 9010 mini tower and what we're gonna do is uh, we'll disconnect the stadium power here the cable for the optical drive and the little clip you press it down to release the you're gonna slide it to the right side the optical drive and it comes right out so remove the optical drive now we're gonna go ahead and start off from the hard drive we're gonna do disconnect the SATA cable power and uh, what you're gonna do is you take your fingers like this and press on the clips right here and the hard drive caddy will come right out and disconnect the hard drive it just bends the hard drive caddy bends like this finger and it comes right out so remove the hard drive now we have to do is uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove the memory and what you do is take your finger really gently and you press on the clips right here too the Y ones and your memory come right out really easy like this one and two now what we're gonna do is you guys uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove the power supply and you're gonna disconnect the four pin right there and it's got a secure clip so what you have to do is you have to press on the finger like this secure clip to release the lock right there four pin same with the 24 pin it's gonna have a lock and as you do is it press on the 24 pin right here the little secure clip you have to press your finger like this to release it right here in the middle it's gonna be located now what you're gonna do is make sure the power supply is disconnected here remove the SATA cables here from the motherboard now what we're gonna do is uh, we have to go in the back here the back side and we have to remove the what we have to do is remove the four screws in the back of the mother uh, on the power supply right here in the back it's gonna have four screws here in the back so we're gonna go ahead and remove the screws here so remove the four screws now what you have to do is let me move to the side a little bit you guys can see better there's a, right here there's a secure clip what you guys have to do is you take a screwdriver and you're gonna press on the secure clip right there which is screwdriver like this to release the power supply and you're gonna do is you're gonna slide it to the right side like this and it comes right out that secure clip prevents if you if your screws are missing what it does it prevents from coming out it's a secure clip so it slides to the right and the power supply will come right out like this so power supply removed now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the, this is the rear system fan right here and it does have a secure clip too right here you have to press your finger like this to release it from the motherboard now same with the process heatsink fan right here connect to the motherboard it has a secure clip you have to press on it too and what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect the processor heatsink fan cooler from the motherboard So remove the heatsink fan from the processor and what we're going to do is we're going to remove the processor and it's got a little clip right here you take your finger and you press uh, press on the clip and it's just gently come right out the, and the socket what you're going to do is you go like this really gently and the processor will come right out. 
So process removed, now you're gonna remove, disconnect this right here. This is the hood sensor right here. The, the sensor, what it does with your side cover panels like, is, real, is open. And this now tells you, warns you that your side cover panel is open. So what you're gonna do is remove the, it's got a secure clip too on here right here, the sensor. You remove that and, and it comes right out too, just like that. Remove that. Now, what we're gonna do is, uh, this is gonna be the harder part, uh, remove the, here in the top right corner, there's a lot of power switch connector right here. You have to disconnect that. This is a power switch right here. And the power LED right here. It looks like it's in the bottom right corner. Get that disconnected. Now we're going to go. I'm going to turn over the side. You guys can see. You can disconnect the USB right here. The front USB connector. And it's got a secure clip too. You have to press on it. Can you see right here? With your finger, you have to press on it to release it. Internal speaker and a sensor right here. And this is going to be the hardest part is removing the, right here, the front panel. I'll show you guys. This right here, the bottom right here, the front panel. What you have to do is, you have to take a screwdriver right here. And it's got a clip right here, which is with the screwdriver, the mini one. This is a small flathead. You have to, it's got a two clips right here, one on the left and the right, right there. You have to press on it like this with the small flat screwdriver and the, the, the clips will come and it releases the clip, secure clip, and it comes right out just like that. And just disconnect that, all the wires right here. And remove the internal speaker right there. It's got a little clip on here too. So you have to take your finger like this. I'm going to show you guys like this. And it comes, comes right out. And what you do is you press on this clip right here to release it and it slides right out like that. This is an internal speaker. And okay, so now what we have to do is uh, we're going to try to remove the motherboard. And to do that, we have to remove this rear system fan right there. And I'm going to lay it down. And right here, the little clip where you press on this little clip right here, the bracket for the PCI brackets. And you're going to remove all the PCI brackets right here. Oh wow, it's right there. And to remove the rear system fan, it's got, see right here how it moves? A little rubber, and it's got hold by the rubbers here. So what you're gonna do is just go like this gently, and your fan will come right out. Gently, just lift it like this, really gently. Don't pull it too hard. Just like that, and it comes right out. See? So remove the rear system fan, see it holds by the rubber here doesn't use any screws here so what we're gonna do guys now is uh, we're gonna remove the I'm gonna go the other side and we're gonna I'm gonna remove the right here the front right there can you see I'm gonna remove that and the front cover front panel right here and use a Phillips screwdriver here to remove it let's go hold by one screw right here and just lifts up like this and it comes right out Just for the front panel, USB and audio. So we got that removed. Now will be the last part is remove the motherboard, and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six, eight screws here that we have to remove. So I'm gonna start off at the bottom. So it's gonna have three screws in the top, three in the middle, and two in the bottom. And you just have to use a Phillips screwdriver. And the last one in the bottom, right there. So total eight screws. Now, what you guys gonna do is you take your finger like this, and you're gonna lift it up like this so motherboard will come right out just like this gently go like this and motherboard will come right out 
And we're gonna remove the, the CMOS battery here. So you're gonna take a flathead screwdriver and you press on the clip right here to release the battery, just like that. So here's the motherboard that we just removed. Now, we're gonna do the last part and we're gonna remove the, the right here, there's a sensor right here. Get that removed too if you want. Get that disconnect, it's got a little clip right here. You press on it, it comes right out. Just like that. And the last part would be the eye shield, the back right here, the back plate, eye shield. And to do that is you're gonna take a screwdriver right here and you hit in the back like this and it comes right out. Be really careful, this has got really sharp edges right here, really, really sharp, so it'll cut your finger really easy, so make sure you wear latex gloves. And this is a IO shield back plate. So that's about it, you guys. This is a disassembly tear down on Dell Optiplex 9020 mini tower. Thanks for watching. Bye.